Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister says in her statement the legal text is now also clear that once the backstop has been superseded, it shall cease to apply. Now, we need accuracy. Actually, in page 309, Article 2 of the Northern Ireland Protocol, it says the backstop will be, can be superseded in whole or in part and shall cease to apply in whole or in part. So we need accuracy every here because it's the legal text that matters and this is what will bind the country. Will the Prime Minister tell us as the Chancellor has rightly said, that the backstop is bad for the union, bad for the economy. That's what he has said. Can't you tell us what bits are so bad for the union? The, the uh, parts of the uh, backstop that are bad for the European Union, that they consider... Oh, for the, sorry. For the United Kingdom. Yeah, yes, well, this, is, this is what we want to be able to do is in the future to be able to have our independent trade policy. One of the issues in relation to the backstop is whether or not we would be, be able to do that. That's one of the issues that we would not want to see uh, within the, uh, us continuing to be in the backstop for. Mr. Morris.